Hello, and welcome to another exciting video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be delving into the world of F-16 fighters, the aircraft that's raising Ukraine's hopes in its battle against Russia. Don't miss out on this in-depth analysis and stay up to date with the most important global news. Make sure to subscribe for updates and feel free to hit the like button on the video. Now, let's dive straight into the content. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addressed a crowd in Denmark this Monday, sharing his renewed confidence that Ukraine can finally put an end to the Russian invasion, thanks to the promised deliveries of US-manufactured F-16 fighters. On Sunday, Denmark and the Netherlands announced they would provide the first F-16s to Ukraine, with the initial six to be delivered by New Year's. This approval from Washington came ahead of Zelensky's visit to Copenhagen. Zelensky proclaimed with conviction to thousands gathered outside the Danish parliament, today, we are confident that Russia will lose this war. However, Russia had previously warned that supplying jets to Ukraine could further escalate the conflict, which has been ongoing for nearly 18 months. Russian forces occupy nearly a fifth of Ukraine's territory, and Kiev is tirelessly fighting to expel them. Russian Ambassador Vladimir Barbin stated in a release, Denmark's decision to donate 19 F-16 aircraft to Ukraine only serves to intensify the conflict. He added, by claiming that Ukraine should determine the conditions for peace, Denmark, through its actions and words, is, in fact, leaving Ukraine with no choice but to continue the military confrontation with Russia. Ukrainian military officials emphasized the importance of these aircraft to the success of their counteroffensive which has been progressing slowly since its launch in June. The F-16s would prevent Russian fighters from attacking their advancing forces. As the spokesperson for the Air Force, Yuri Yanat, stated, as reported by Ukrainian media, air superiority is the key to success on the ground. Danish Defense Minister Jacob Elliman Jensen stipulated that Ukraine can only use the donated F-16s within its own territory, stating, we donate weapons on the condition that they are used to expel the enemy from Ukraine's territory. Nothing more. Denmark plans to deliver a total of 19 jets, while the Netherlands, which has 42 available F-16s, has not yet decided if all will be donated. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky described the decision as a groundbreaking agreement. Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov reported that Ukrainian pilots have already started training, but it will take at least six months, and possibly more, to train engineers and mechanics. And thus, we conclude today's video. We highly value your opinion on the new boost that the F-16 fighters are bringing to Ukraine. Do you believe these aircraft can truly signify a significant turning point in the conflict? And potentially tilt the balance in Ukraine's favor? Thank you for staying with us until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, as your viewership means a lot to us.